The English invented the name Jesus. There was no letter J before the 16th century, Jesus was changed from Latin Jesus. Jesus is from the Greek word Jesus, translated in Hebrew meaning Hail Zeus or, greetings Zeus. Sincere believers in the Jewish Messiah are very uncomfortable with the Greek word Jesus, even they see in it a very clear correlation to the Greek sun god Zeus. Compare Jesus to Er and Zeus. Er and Zeus are the same god. The first one Er, is the Akkadian and Babylonian name for the same god in Greek named Zeus. Er is also the earlier Sumerian god known as Enki. Zeus was the head of all the Greek gods but to the Akkadian and Babylonian people Er was simply a major deity and to the Romans he was known as Saturn and Jupiter. That is the sun. According to Philip Gardiner, in his book titled Gateways to the Other World, he states, Horus was called the Messiah, God's anointed, and Christ was often found written upon mummies as a word of anointing and blessing from Horus. He was Christ slash Christ, and the word made flesh. The Egyptian term for crocodile is Messas, which is the root for the Hebrew term Messiah, Mesa derives from the Hebrew stem MSSH. When vowels are added to this stem it forms the verb Mashiach, to anoint, and the noun, Messiah, which means anointed one that is the Christos, Christ. In ancient Egypt the process of making the mummy was to Karos, the place in which it was laid is the Karos, and the product was the Christ, whose image is the upright mummy, equals the risen Christ. Hence the name Christ, Christos in Greek, Christus in Latin, for the anointed, was derived from the Egyptian word Christ. Gerald Massey connects Christ with the Greek word Christos, Messiah, and Christ. He says, say what you will or believe what you may, there is no other origin for Christ the Anointed than Horus the Kairos or Anointed Son of God the Father. Christianity derives from the English word Christ, which stems from the Greek word Christos meaning the Anointed One. The Hebrew word Messiah, evolves from the ancient Egyptian word Messa or Messias, and refers to the crocodile subek, and crocodile fat. When the Egyptian pharaoh was crowned king he was anointed with the oil containing crocodile fat, which was poured over his head during the coronation process. The Hebrew term Messiah in Greek is Christos. Coincidentally, the appellation of Christos can be seen in our modern word Crisco, as in Crisco cooking oil. Anointing people with oil is a common occurrence in both Old and New Testaments. So, why a crocodile and crocodile fat? The crocodile, Sabek, represented and symbolized royal power. In the New Kingdom, in the time of Moses, the crocodile is connected to the sun god Ra and in this case represents the primordial or creator god coming, as the reptile does, out of the depths of the murky Nile. Also note, the crocodile exemplifies the soul of the sun. Chronosaturn was also equated with the Egyptian crocodile god Sabek, and also Pepe, Greek nemesis. Chronos, who was worshipped in Koptos as Sabek Jeb, the god Sabek, whom the Greek called Suchos, is represented as a crocodile. Seb, or Jeb, was the embodiment of the earth. He is called the prince of the gods, as going before all the later gods. He thus is analogous to Saturn. Sabek is Saturn in Western astrology. The crocodile is attributed to Saturn as the devourer. As a symbol of Saturn, it indicates the influence of the universe, the end of the cycle of trumps that the fool initiates. The crocodile is also Sebek, the Egyptian god who represents the destructive power of the sun. Saturn, ornamented with the head of a crocodile, the emblem of Saturn. His name Sebek is the crocodile, originally pronounced Sebek. This great fish is the crocodile, which was applied to Horus as a figure of force in his capacity of solar god, the crocodile in Egypt being a prototype of the mythical dragon, not the evil dragon but the solar dragon, which was known in relation to Sebek and to Saturn as the dragon of life. Saturn the dragon was a form of Sebek, the crocodile-headed Horus, the prototype of the good dragon. Again, we prove the figure of Jesus Christ to be no more than a rehash of older gods, having connections to the likes of Zeus, Er, Inki, 
Horus, Sabek, Saturn and many, many others. All of whom embody the solar disk and exhibit characteristics of the Sun, 